ESI SIP phones may actually arrive installed on your desk with the programmable DSS keys already programmed for you. It just depends on the site or the user. Regardless, you have the ability to go in and program these keys to be anything that you want. Okay, so let's walk through how you do that. So you go to the menu, scroll down till you find phone settings and press select, then program feature key, select. Now as you see here, I have all mine programmed already. You can also tell because I made an overlay for myself. But let's say I wanna reprogram one and I'm gonna program this one that I have right now marked as home and I'm going to reprogram it as another number that I call even more often. And so that's 1615, that's key number 14. So just scroll down until you find number 14 and then select it. And here it gives you all the options of how you can program this key. You have three main choices. It's usually a line key, various features, or a speed dial. And so let's keep scrolling and we'll get back to the top of the list, which is a speed dial. So let's select that. It's gonna ask me for a number, and that's a phone number I already have programmed in there, but I just wanna write over that. And I'm going to program the FedEx number in here because for whatever reason, I tend to call FedEx all the time. So I'm gonna enter the digits here. I will tell you that it's best not to go too fast as you're programming these numbers because I'm going backwards. I'm using my down arrow to go backwards because I entered the wrong number. So I have 1-800-46, I know it's G-O-F-E-D-E-X for FedEx. Don't ask me how I know that. Anyway, so uh, you program the number in here. I say go slow because as you enter in digits, these digits represent not only the number, but lower and uppercase A, B, C, or D, E, F, and so on. So if you enter it too fast, it's thinking that you're just punching the number in to find a character as opposed to entering, let's say two, two or three times in a row, or like three in three or four different times. So I've entered the number here and I press select. Then I scroll down to the account and press select. This phone's only associated with me, so that's the only option is me. So just press select again to get back. Now BLF, that's for lamp appearances, so these keys turn colors. Now for an outside line or number like uh, the FedEx number or maybe your home or your best friend, that's not going to light up to a special color. However, an extension like these here I have programmed as fellow employees, those will light special colors and you would want to turn that on um, to see when they're in certain states. So I'm going to skip the BLF. I could reset the key, just that key. Maybe I want to start over again. Or I can press save. Now, if you forget, which I often do, if you forget to actually save, as you exit, you'll get stopped and say save changes and it's already at yes, so you just press select. It saves the changes and you're good to go. Now if we get and keep pressing exit if you wanna get back to your main screen. Now when we press this, it should go to FedEx. Welcome to FedEx. Okay, so there we go. Now the overlay, well how do I get my overlay and my labels? So this is actually done through a company called Desi.com, D-E-S-I.com. You as a user would probably want to touch base with your site administrator who will have access to some of these labels that either you can just hand write out if it's easier for you or their Desi.com does pro provide an easy application that will allow you to print these from your printer so they're nice and neat like you see here. So right now I would probably just go in and mark home 
mark it over with FedEx for now until I get my hand on a label that I can print. And you would easily just, for this phone, you would just pop this out. And again, if I didn't want to use this side, maybe I, you know, there's just people that come and go all the time, so my list changes. You can always hand write on the other side and flip it over so you can use both sides. Anyway, so I put that back there and then just, oops, just slide that in and you just pop it down. Sounds like you're breaking it, but it's fine. So all good. Okay, and that's how you program your DSS keys. The main thing to remember about programming these keys from your phone is that they appear here only on your phone. Therefore, if you go into your ESI dashboard, which I recommend because it's actually way easier to program these keys from your web UI or your web-based dashboard, is that when you go into your dashboard, you won't see any of these programmed because when you program through the phone, they're only here. When you log into your dashboard, it doesn't pull up what you already have programmed. But if you go into your dashboard, you can program them way easier and faster, and then it pushes this down, the programming down, and now the dashboard and the phone know the same thing.